applying our critical thinking skills to the internet is more important now than ever. And it seems to be so hard to explain to people why this is important. So, I mean, when we talk about critical thinking skills, so the, maybe the way that we find the best deal on a pair of sneakers or, you know, the way that we find a fact that we're looking for or have an effective Google search, and those are important things, and I'm not saying they aren't. But there are some really important things that are becoming increasingly dangerous for us as individuals and increasingly damaging on us as citizens. You know, they have an impact on how elections are run. They have an impact on how we make decisions on things like climate change. Right, so there's three kinds of things I want to talk about as potentially damaging and things that we're going to explore further in the content of this course. Uh, the first one is just the protection of your personal data. So certainly it's easy for us to understand why we protect things like our credit card numbers. People can use our credit card numbers to then go ahead and buy things with our money. And obviously we don't want to do that. So at that level, yes, protect your personal data. But people are trying to get your personal data in a lot of different ways. It's not just your credit card number. So every time you go online and you fill out one of those surveys that says something like, uh, your personality is the movie that was number one in the box office 10 years after the day you were born. Well, once you fill that out, you give somebody else an idea of when the day you were born is. Once they have that, they can call a company with your name and your date of birth, and they can get your passwords changed, right? Every little bit of data that you give out in this way gives somebody an opportunity to be able to go out and buy things with your money or do other things with your identity. And these are all things that are going to matter at some point, whether it's getting access to your email account, whether it's getting access to your company through your passwords. These are all things that are potentially damaging. So the personal data things, there's all kinds of other issues around this, but you need to watch where you put your data. Uh, who's getting it? If any, if anybody is giving you something for free, and people say, "Oh, I love free things on the internet," anytime somebody is giving you something for free, you need to figure out where they're getting their money from, because if you can't find out how they're making money, they're likely making money from your data, from the people they're giving that data to, and that builds onto our second issue. So once people know data about you, uh, they can use that data in a variety of ways. They can also use it to market to you, right? So once they know what kinds of things you like. So for instance, my kids for a while understood that if they said cake near my cell phone, I would get advertisements for cake on my Facebook account. Um, and they were trying to manipulate me through saying cake into my phone. Now that's a funny example, but it's something that can happen, right? So you start to get slowly pushed into buying things, slowly encouraged to do different kinds of things based on those things. And you may say, I am totally immune to that. And maybe you are, but maybe your friend isn't. And maybe somebody down the street isn't. And as we look at our cultures and the way that things like elections get voted on, the same things happen in elections. People find wedge issues, certain issues that people are worried about, nudge them a little bit. And most of our countries, three, four, five percent, one way or the other, makes all the difference in the vote. All of these things matter. Lose your data over here, get marketed to over here. Right? And this spreads again till we get into things like science. So people go out and they find one article on the internet that says that climate change, there's one climate change person who was wrong once. And then once you have that one data point, and there probably was one climate change scientist who wrote something badly once, they follow that one data point. Once you have that search term, it can lead you into a lot of crazy places. Right? If you don't have effective ways of searching the internet, if you don't understand how to do things in such a way you don't get caught in those traps, you can get uh, brought into some of these more dangerous places. You can have, more importantly, the people that you care about can go down those places. And we're seeing this with things like um, radicalization of teens, right? So they find one thing where they say, oh, this has been a lie all along. They follow that path through and they are slowly becoming radicalized. And the amount of time that our kids spend sitting in rooms by themselves, on phones, outside, in the corner, tapping away, there's lots of time for this to happen. There's lots of time for them to follow these. And if we don't teach them the skills that they need, if we don't show them how to navigate these spaces, even if you say, I'm never going to navigate those spaces. I don't do that on the internet. I don't use the internet. It's not for me. What about your kids? What about your nephew? What about that kid down the street? What about your student? Right? If you don't learn these skills, you're not going to be able to pass them along. And if you can't pass them along, all of those other people are at risk. The internet's an amazing place. 
the abundance of the connections that we can make a huge possibilities for creativity, huge possibilities for us to grow as people. But it comes with a responsibility. And that responsibility is that each of us has to learn how to do this well. Each of us has to be able, I mean, doing it well is going to be, there's lots of upsides. You're going to be able to find things you need. You're going to be able to get answers to stuff you want. Lots of possibilities. But there's also a responsibility there. Responsibility for ourselves and for our society. Thanks.